Hello there, Mr. Wayne, sir. How are you doing today? I am old and grumpy, mean, and ill-tempered. Anything new? <laughs> no. Okay, well, that's just being normal for you. There you go. There we go. If I wasn't good looking and charming, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, I saw a donkey the other day turn his rear end towards you when you crashed going down the road, but I know you're pretty bad sometimes. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. Tell you what we're going to do. I understand that you have a, you have a uh, song for us tonight. I do. I have a, a song that ain't one of you except my wife probably ever heard. Okay. Well, you know something? You're all, you've always been known for uh, a lot of change up in the, in the music, and I'm sure you're going to do that right now. And so just give us a song that will surprise all of us. How's okay, that? we'll do that. Okay. We'll do that. I'm going to step to the side, and we're looking forward to hearing you, sir. Now, he told me like a dog song, and I worked up a couple of dog songs, and both of them are sitting on my desk at Lebanon. So you got this one. Uh, this dog song is a true story. Uh, it's something that I, I wrote years and years ago and sung it at my dad's funeral, so. The life of a boy, the life of a man, and the best times you'll ever see are the times we spend. about things important to us is dad and the dog and me. Well, the word got around that we knew how to fish and all our friends would agree. If you wanted to know the right place or bait, ask dad or that dog for me. And as I grew up and the dog grew old and I had my 